Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How's everybody? Before I get going, I just want to mention, uh, I did do singles readings on Monday. If you haven't checked them out, there may be a message there for you, for those of you who are single. Also want to mention, people have been reporting to me, which I have seen on my channel, people um, pretending to be me, offering up uh, personal readings through WhatsApp and other uh, social media uh, connections. It is not me. I don't use WhatsApp. I don't offer any personal readings anywhere. So you can just ignore those people. I mean, it's up to you, right? <laughs> I do delete them when I see them on the channel, but I can't be on it every second of the day. So yeah, it's up to you to make that decision. But yeah, I, I really don't, I, nobody, anybody who's using uh, my logo and my little moon and my, with my clouds, uh, it is not me, okay? So I have reported people over and over again that do it. But thank you for the heads up. I will not be offering personal readings for a while. All right. Sagittarius, let's see what's happening with you. clarity overall energy surrounding you in your love life finance and career all right yeah so some of you are feeling a little lonely maybe left out in the cold like you don't have enough money okay it's uh you know it's a five it's a temporary situation yeah some of you are a little emotionally drained as well you know and I'm, you know as far as your love life goes there's someone here who feels they're they want to reach out to you they feel like they're not good enough maybe they ghosted you or vice versa maybe you rejected them but i feel this person wants to reach out they're just a little bit afraid of being rejected there's some kind of connection here i also feel this is someone who was kind of lacking anyone who comes towards you with that lack okay you probably will reject them because you want that soulmate connection you want someone who's as emotionally invested as you are so i do see this energy so we'll see where this takes you sagittarius sagittarius what's coming in what's going out what's changing in the love lives of the sagittarius viewers clear messages and guidance for sagittarius clear messages regarding your love life finance and career for Sagittarius Oops, there we go yeah all right yeah some of you are up in your head you got a lot of mental conflict to do with financial stability okay someone here you don't trust to have your back there's someone here who feels like they don't have enough money uh, they may have trust issues in fact they may act like they don't have any money when they actually do so yeah you got a situation with somebody here who was may have rushed in and rushed out there's a need for some kind of clarity here with the situation this could be yourself feeling really frustrated um wanting more financial stability here some of you have some trust issues or you have a person who's in that energy around you this is somebody who's got a, got that lack they probably act like they don't have any money and they actually may um and it, or it, they may try to deceive you that they have more money than they do so watch that energy okay or stability it could be a lot of different things but it really is uh, generally it's a money thing or being left out in the cold feeling not good enough so there may be somebody who may pretend they have more money than they do okay or they just feel they're not good enough because they can't provide uh, that stability and they are a bit indecisive but i feel this person is you know anxious and patient they might even be a little bit angry about something here so just be a little cautious and then we have that devil yeah ooh, in the ending yes wow there is something happening here wow talk about heavy energy see a capricorn a scorpio gemini virgo libra aquarius energy definitely money is a big deal financial foundation whether someone has your best interest at heart that kind of energy okay that's what i'm seeing but something is coming to an end someone here has been very much obsessed possibly with money finances uh, could be anger you know it it's an energy of someone who's really really focused on something we have two people here 
kind of chained to a situation. It's quite possible. I honestly, how I'm seeing it is someone who probably has more money than they think. They probably pretend they don't. And I feel as though they're actually very obsessed with money. This person's got some issues there, but I feel there's something ending with some kind of a transition. I actually feel this person has all the tools they need, and I feel they're about to come towards you. They're a little afraid you're going to reject them, maybe because of an energy. I think they have more money than they say, but it could go the other way around. Yeah, you definitely, and I actually feel you've gone through some kind of transition. You're putting an end to some unhealthy situation, toxic patterns. Uh, you're going through this transition. It's both of you kind of dealing with something here. Just unhealthy patterns, things that don't serve, you know, things you're obsessed with, you do too much that aren't good for you, aren't healthy. It could be toxic, unhealthy situations, relationships, patterns, whatever it is, it's over. And it's creating this transformation to manifest something new, having all the tools you need. Someone actually has everything they need. They're, I think you, you know, I'm going to tell you, it's right in the middle here. This person's worried you're going to reject them. They may pretend they have more money than they do, but like I say, it could be the other way around. It definitely has to do with finances. I feel this person's a little angry. Uh, they want to clear something up. They want to talk to you. I think they rushed in uh, to a situation quickly, maybe rushed out, maybe ghosted you because of this energy. This could be something this person's done before, but look at this. This is, look at this energy. This person's gone through some kind of transition. They're releasing some unhealthy pattern, toxic energy, letting it go to manifest this new beginning. They are afraid you're going to reject them. And I do feel as though there's this person's a little emotionally drained, uh, but I feel they're more emotionally available. Yeah, I, anybody who tries to manipulate you, I feel like you will reject them. I do feel, yeah, you're moving, you're releasing somebody here. You're moving towards something more successful or this person is. They want to have success. This, I, I feel like this person's a lot more successful than you think. And I actually feel maybe they felt you didn't have enough money. You were chasing after them for money. Maybe they manipulated you, pretended you they didn't have any or whatever the situation. But whatever it is, this we have that magician energy, manipulation and ending. Uh, a rejection they may have rejected you you may have rejected this person uh, in the past or they're just a little bit emotionally drained this is an energy of not being really sure what to do in a situation I think you got someone who's kind of frustrated I feel like you got someone who has some trust issues because they have they, they probably have a lot of money they have that financial security uh, and I do feel this person has some trust issues. I do. And I feel maybe they thought you were chasing after them for money. Uh, I feel if they rejected you and ghosted you because of it, I feel like it's an unhealthy pattern, this obsession. I do think it's money. And I feel as though it's, yeah, they've gone through some kind of transition, but it could be yourself. Yeah, I see some kind of communication. They may have some Sagittarius in their chart. I see Capricorn energy. It doesn't mean they are. It's just they're in that energy. This person's crazy about you. I feel like they have a lot of feelings. I feel like they're someone who is a little bit cautious. I feel they were being over, probably overly cautious. They likely have a little bit of an ego. It got in the way. I do feel they're going to come in and communicate something with you. I feel like this is a crazy situation, Sag. I feel as though you're setting yourself free from something, though. You are ready for a new adventure. This could be yourself, right? Offering up that cup, feeling really ready for love after you release something. Letting something go that was emotionally draining. Uh, I do feel like whatever it is is over. You have the tools you need to move forward. But I also feel it's this person. I feel like this is someone who generally gets a lot of attention because they maybe have money. Okay, or they pretend they do. It could go in different situations. They like a lot, a lot of adoration. They might even brag a little bit. That kind of thing. But I feel they're coming in to talk. And I do feel as though you're setting yourself free or they are. And I see this communication back and forth. Some very fiery, passionate communication about this connection. Someone feel, they feel this connection. They've been obsessed with you. You may have uh, go, uh, rejected this person. Maybe you felt they were manipulating. There's something to do with this. Tell me about the five of swords. 
you know, this is a, a all about lessons being learned, taking the things that resonate, leaving the rest behind. Uh, but, you know, in this deck, the Five of Swords is someone who's a little sneaky, maybe a little manipulative because they have trust issues, possibly. This is someone who's very much up in their head. OK, I can see this person. Yeah, and I actually feel they have a bit of an ego. I feel like they actually feel like they're not good enough. And it's like maybe people only chase them because they have money. There's some issues to do with that. So hmm, tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, setting themselves free. There's someone here who definitely, uh, wow. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely wanting to have success to move forward. It could be a reconciliation. This is somebody possibly from your past. You may not trust this person to make you feel safe and secure because they rushed in, rushed out. Uh, there may be some kind of anxiety here. I feel this person wants to communicate something here. I do feel they want to put an end to this situation. I do. and uh, But it's up to you to decide if you want to communicate. I feel as though this person definitely had an ego and they want to leave that in the past. They want to set themselves free from this. They are definitely used to getting a lot of attention, okay? Um, getting a lot of adoration because of, of money. Uh, if you've got a person around you that's been acting like they have no money and they're broke and they rush in and out and they're indecisive, you're going to be knowing who this is, definitely. I don't see this as a mystery person at all. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you have this person, yeah, they're... I feel as this person wants to come in and express something. They want to start something. They want to clear something up. And I feel as though, yeah, I feel like they do. And uh, not so sure, though. I feel like you've had a tough time with this person. Uh, you want to feel safe and secure. You want someone you can rely on. You maybe felt you couldn't rely on this person. Uh, it's like they only came towards you when they wanted attention. And uh, I feel like there's something to do with this past energy. This is somebody who feel like they're going to try to come towards you. They want to have success. They're going to say and do some sweet things. And I feel like you were very sweet to this person. You were very kind. Uh, you expressed yourself. You wanted something stable. But yeah, I, I feel as though they kind of rushed in and out. There was a, this is somebody who's becoming more decisive, okay? They're, but they're frustrated. They might even be angry you know, for some reason. Maybe you decided to, you know, go start something new with another person. I can see that, setting yourself free from this. Tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. Yeah. Yeah, you're not so sure. You're a little emotionally drained, I feel. Something is being exposed. I feel like you exposed this somehow. I feel like you know this person was kind of playing little mind games, pretending they didn't have money when they did. Honestly, I feel it's because they get a lot of attention. I feel they have some serious trust issues. They thought you were maybe chasing them for money, okay, or vice versa. And I know people hate it when I see readings like this, but this is what I'm seeing. It's definitely a money issue. And I do feel as though you want love. You want someone who reciprocates. And this person wasn't expressing themselves. So now they're a little emotionally drained. This person, yeah, they may have rejected you. You may have offered them something and they rejected you, ghosted you, made you feel like you weren't good enough or something or it's a vice versa. But I feel it's this person projecting their energy on you. I feel this person's crazy about you. I do. I think they're probably uh, have a horrible fear. I do feel there's there's money issues that they get people chasing them uh, so they have these trust issues that uh, somehow they feel like they're not good enough maybe not good enough looking whatever that energy is i do see some physical energy here yeah i feel as though this person yeah i feel as though this person is uh putting an end to a situation i feel they're ready for more emotional fulfillment but I feel that you aren't sure about this person. They made you feel badly. And I feel it was a little emotionally draining. Uh, they would rush in with that lack of clarity. You may have had to reject them in the end. Because I feel this is some kind of energy where you just needed to set yourself free. I feel like you gave this person attention. I do. And I feel like you did sweet things or probably said a lot of sweet things to them. Maybe to show that you that... You had feelings. Maybe you never really expressed your love and adoration. 
Uh, I feel as though maybe you kind of held back and you weren't really sure. But I think this person, there's been this rejection energy back and forth. And I feel as though this person has gone through some kind of ending. Something You may have ended things with this person. And uh, I feel as though they it's created this transformation. Okay, and it's in the middle. So both of you have gone through some kind of a transformation because of this. Ending unhealthy cycles, unhealthy patterns, uh, toxic situations, things that you're obsessed with, things that aren't healthy. Uh, so there's this energy of opening up emotionally, uh, wanting uh, that emotional fulfillment. And if it's an energy if somebody doesn't open up emotionally, there's something not right. So I feel like there's an ending. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely looking at the details. They were holding on to something. Yeah, and I feel like they're going to let go of something to manifest this new beginning. They see you as, as I, I feel like you're manifesting each other. I feel like you both have the tools you need to have something here. And this is what kind of feels sad here. I see a couple of soulmates, two people who just you know can't seem to get on the same page they're holding on to something they need to let go of I don't think this person has let go of you to be honest but it's in the middle right that ending that transformation like they they're probably trying to disconnect and they can't they're looking at the reasons why and it could be yourself as well looking at the details and uh wondering why you're holding on to this person but it's time to let go of unhealthy situations unhealthy patterns uh, toxic um, relationships whatever it is to be more open emotion somebody here is going through this transition there i feel like this person honestly i'm going to tell you you could end it with this person and manifest someone new uh, they could be a cancer pisces scorpio sag okay you want to have success with this person I do see a lot of communication. You may be taking your passion and energy. You may be leaving this person behind and going towards another. But I'm going to tell you, I feel like it's more like an energy uh, where this person's going to come towards you. They want to put more passion and energy into this connection. See, there's that person offering you that cup. You've got an opportunity. It's either a new person or this person coming in with a new energy. They can't let go of you. I feel like it's just they've gone through some kind of a transition. This person was protecting their money they were obsessed with protecting their money everything they worked for but they you know they do see you as someone worth holding on to like they there's a lot of good things they see and i i feel they were indecisive i'm not so sure they felt you were chasing them for money i don't really feel that but they have trust issues about that so they have a tendency to rush towards you they're becoming more decisive now they they're starting to gain some kind of clarity so I feel as though you're going to, whoever this person is, you may have already set yourself free. Some of you, you know, you want to have success. You want to have a family. Some of you are at that age where you want children. Uh, I do feel anyone who's indecisive and doesn't know what they want, you're probably going to reject them. I feel like you have people coming towards you wanting attention, maybe for the wrong reasons. Maybe they do and you're not interested so I, I see a lot going on here. Tell me about this magician energy for Sagittarius. Yeah, trusting that intuition, being wise. So someone has all the tools they need. They're keeping it to themselves. There's someone here who's keeping a secret. I think they know everything they need to know. They probably maybe think that you're rejecting them to manipulate them or vice versa. It could go either way. Take it how it resonates. Doesn't necessarily mean a bad, a, a bad manipulation because something is ending. It's creating a transformation to manifest, being wise. This is someone who has a secret. They're keeping something to themselves. They're a little afraid you're going to reject them, though. Maybe they wanted to tell you something and they held back. And maybe they felt they would be rejected. Maybe it was you wanting to reach out and decided to hold back. You know, keep your feelings to yourself uh, to see if this person came towards you. But that rejection energy, that being emotionally drained, not really sure what to do. Yeah, you've got someone here who, look at that. You've got this person who, Pisces energy, offering that cup. Keeping a lot of things, you know, keeping secrets. 
They want to tell you they were probably a little shy, a little apprehensive to tell you they had feelings and emotions. Maybe they were afraid you were going to reject them. Maybe they rejected you because of all this other energy. Wow. Yeah, this is person's, their tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conducted themselves, their habits. They didn't have a lot of faith, maybe in themselves, maybe in the situation. Maybe this person was in another relationship, possibly, and kept it secret. I'm not so sure if that's the situation. I'm not seeing a lot of energy to do with that. I mostly feel as though this is somebody who has a habit. It's conditioning, a tradition, a belief, the way they conducted themselves. It could be an apology. This person's, I, I feel they didn't trust their intuition. I actually feel like this person seen you as someone faithful, someone they could rely on, uh, but they weren't trusting that intuition. So they probably rejected you and are regretting it. That's what I'm kind of feeling, but it could go the other way around. Tell me about this Six of Wands energy. Yes, people have issues sometimes, right? And it sometimes comes back, you know, it goes back to childhood. Uh, this is someone who maybe got a lot of attention when they were a child. <laughs> I feel like you are definitely setting yourself free. I think you're releasing this past, and I feel like you were trying to give this person attention. Uh, you wanted to have success. You were doing sweet things, saying sweet things. You probably gave them little gifts or little things like that, right? It's to show those feelings and emotions without really exposing them. And that's what I feel has kind of been happening here, probably with both of you to some extent. Tell me about this Six of Wands. Yeah, there's something changing. It's time for change. Something is evolving. I feel this person, you know, and I feel you. You're setting yourself free. You're ready for change. But I feel this person's coming towards you. And I feel that whatever has ended, whatever this transition energy is to you, it's 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 being about more happy, more emotionally fulfilled, being more open, releasing toxic energy, toxic thoughts patterns whatever it is you're holding on to both of you are holding on to each other here i think you're both obsessed with each other or you think about each other a lot i think money is definitely a big issue for both of you um you're probably more um some of you are saving for something too uh, i see the saving and holding on to money but i actually feel like there's this protective mode something you're holding i think this person was protecting themselves and I think they realize they didn't trust their intuition. I do think they're going to offer you this fresh new start. They want another. They were being very cautious, too cautious is what I think. And I feel they're coming in to offer you this cup. But some of you are going to leave this person behind. I do feel like you may reject their offer because of the way they conducted themselves. Even though they apologize, I'm not so sure you have faith in this person. Or you're just in that I don't know. Okay, some of you may have another offer as well. Like I said, you may be just moving on, setting yourself free, ready for a new adventure in love. You're just kind of going with the flow, <laughs> full of, you know, that's you, right? Sad, you're full of energy, full of passion. You want success. You're not really afraid to go after what you want. So I see a lot of talk and communication. I see you talking, leaving someone behind and talking to another person. Okay, but I also see it's possible that this is somebody coming in with a new energy, apologizing for the way they conducted themselves, the way they behaved. Uh, they, you know, maybe they didn't have the faith in themselves. They didn't trust their intuition. I think this person knew all along. I think this person knew all along that um, you were somebody they could feel safe and secure. They could rely on. I think they didn't trust their intuition, Sag. Yeah, see, they want to talk to you about commitment. And they want to move forward into something more stable. Uh, this, there's a lot of talk about money and finances back and forth, about two people having each other's back, coming together uh, to share your feelings, emotions. You may just get together with this person uh, and just do a lot of talking, just sort of see how things go, see if you're on that same page. It's about two people being on the same page, the same path. Uh, that's what I feel. You just weren't on the same page. And it's because there was things that they weren't trusting their intuition. They were hiding something. And I feel like it was that fear of uh, loss of finances, uh, that they were being chased for money. But I feel as though you had very pure, sweet intentions. And I think they realize it now. All right. So flip that energy, however you uh, see fit. Tell me about this five of pentacles. Why is this here? 
Yeah, clearing out negative energy, negative thoughts, letting things go. This person's been doing a lot of thinking, and I feel they're releasing some negative energy and negative thoughts here. Uh, this is that where this person needed to just take a break. Yeah, they needed to let go of something, but they have been thinking about you, about healing this, clearing the air. Uh, they're a little afraid of being rejected, so they do kind of hold back, but I feel they will come towards you eventually. And I don't know, you know, I'm not seeing any real time frame. Uh, I just see that you you are ready for love. You're ready for something new. Uh, and I do feel like anyone who doesn't know what they want, you will reject them because I feel like you're determined to have success in love. Some of you definitely uh, are at that age where you're just full of adventure. Uh, you're ready for children. You want to have a good time. You know, you just got, it's, it's very it's almost like whatever it is that wasn't healthy in the past is going to now flip and become much more positive, much more emotionally fulfilling. Uh, you know, you want somebody who makes you happy. You don't want somebody who has toxic energy. They're unhealthy or unhealthy habits or patterns. So there is, you know, you both may have to let go of something, whatever it is. <laughs> It could be a lot of different things. It has to do with faith, being on the same page, trusting that intuition. It's time to let go of something. And I feel like this person was holding on to it. It's really money issues. Honestly, I feel uh, whether they ever admit it, I don't know. It feels like some kind of an apology, uh, reaching out about their faith, tradition, their habits, the way they conducted themselves. They're trying to manifest this new beginning. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Oops. Yeah, there you are, Sag. Yeah, you're on you're definitely focused on something here. You're on a little bit of a journey. Uh, there's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. It's funny how those cards came out. I, I feel like you definitely want some um someone who focuses on you in that right way. Uh, you are I feel as though you're on some kind of a journey looking for answers to do with something to do with your work. Okay, but I actually feel as if this person doesn't come towards you in the right way. Because I don't see you getting on this emotional roller coaster again. I don't. I, I, if they don't come towards you uh, properly, it is over. Uh, I see a cycle being over. And I feel this person might be, you know, sort of wondering if it's over, it's too late to come in. But they want things to go in their favor. So they're kind of soul searching here. And they're looking for answers. They maybe want to know if you're still focused on them or not, or if you're still angry. Okay, that kind of energy as well. So I feel things will go in your favor. Whatever journey that you're on, whatever you're focused on to do with your career and your finances, I feel that uh, could be something kind of spiritual that you're focused on financially, something very creative. You're very much... Uh, focused on it you're very um, passionate about this energy and I feel it will go in your favor you have possibly a uh, fresh new start to do with money and finances I see a lot of talk about uh, financial stability uh, I, I see talk about relationships commitment very positive uh, a very negative kind of energy turning out to be quite positive here tell me about the two of cups some of you are definitely letting something go uh, you're off on a new journey. I think in both your finance and career, it's telling you to save your money right now. There is some kind of transition through this transition period. Look out for yourself, okay? But definitely let go of anything that is of no value, that's toxic or unhealthy. And it could be anything. I mean, you know, it could be you're just um, focused on something that doesn't serve you and it's time to just release it, all right? To look at the positive, to release the negative energy and look at the positive. And I feel like the person that's coming towards you is like that. Yeah, there is something here about investing. Two people invested each other emotionally. And I feel as though you've been very patiently waiting for something here. I feel like someone has been waiting for the right time too. And uh, they're thinking a lot about this, about you, about this connection. Some of you, it's that person coming back with a whole new energy after a, a spiritual journey they've been on. They've been going within looking for answers. And I think they had the answers all along. They were holding on to something that was not uh, good. They had this lack of faith, probably more in themselves than you. But maybe you just weren't on the same page and they weren't sure. 
So there you go. All right, Sag, it looks good. I feel like just be patient, take your time, make sure this person's invested emotionally. I do feel, you know, you want a partner, someone who has your back. You want someone you can rely on. But this is a, a lot of talk. I feel this person has a lot to say. Uh, when it comes to the financial aspect of a relationship. And I know a lot of people say money is important, but for some people it is because they don't want the stress of financial stuff to get in the way of a healthy relationship. So you may be on a spiritual journey yourself, or this is an Aries Leo Sag, somebody with a little Virgo on a journey uh, to um, have more prosperity, things going in your favor. You're definitely, if it's you, you're definitely focused on career and finances, something very creative, something spiritual, this journey. It will bring you prosperity if you put that energy into it, all that passion and drive and don't give up. I see you having success in the future. It is going to be a lot of work. But I feel as you definitely... Uh, just be patient just a little bit longer here. I feel as though you're going to get what you want. And I do feel there's either a new person or this person coming back with a whole new energy, completely changed, ready to put more attention into a stable relationship. So I so wish you guys the best here. I'm going to pull out one more card for the overall outcome. What is the overall outcome? Yeah, so this is you, not really sure where you're going. Okay, this is looking into the future. It's not really clear yet. Uh, but it's also a card of listening, trusting your intuition to gain that clarity. Make sure anyone who communicates that you're clear, make sure you also speak your truth. Don't hold back, okay, that truth. And uh, that could be something that you're holding on to, feeling stuck because maybe you're afraid to speak up and speak your truth. Okay, but it's also a card of, like I say, looking into the future. It's not 100% clear yet, but be patient. Now, that soulmate energy is coming. So let's pull out one more. There we go. Yeah, you have a little bit of stress, a little bit of anxiety about the future. You're not so sure. Some of you really do want love. Like I can see that energy or maybe you're worried that you won't get the clarity you need and uh, you stress about it. But this is an energy of releasing. I think you have some unfounded fears here. Uh, to be honest, yeah, this is taking the things that you're learning and moving forward, moving forward calmly and peacefully, releasing negative stuff. I feel like some of you have been focused too much on the negative. It's time to focus on that positive, to move into calmer waters. Take everything that you learned, all right, get out of your head, let go of the stress and the worry. Some of you definitely could use a little bit of a break. You're a little emotionally drained or just tired from focusing on work. So I can see that too, right? And then starting a new cycle, a fresh new outlook after taking a little break. Maybe you just need a little vacation, you know, just go somewhere for a day or two or a night or just, you know, day trips, road trips, whatever suits you. Somebody definitely wants to talk to you. And I do feel they want to make peace. They want to move forward. Um, but unless you get that clarity and you get the answers, the things that you need uh, to see a future with someone, you will move away. So I, I can see that energy moving away to avoid a disaster with somebody to move towards something better for some of you. Some of you, it's them coming towards you uh, in a new energy. So I look forward to your comments. I hope that uh, this resonates with you guys. Take care. Bye for now.